Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. And all were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. But God to ba ba they were amazed and the people we are snowing at they were amazed. As we wait on Him, the Spirit of the Lord will come and rest on each and every one of us. When we come back, we step into the sea. We will be amazing. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Second Chronicles chapter seven. We are going to pray. 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 ตะกบตวายกะดิ่งกะเฮียร์นะปะดิ่งปะจิกะลบามดุยะกะตะกะจิงไอ้งอทังปะจิกะจิงกะญาปะกะบุรอมอตรายกะลบปันดับยะกะ
do amazing things among us, O God. Come and dwell, God. I want to open the heart of those who want money here. We join you, God. Oh, that she shall go to her. Come and have your way in this place, Lord. Come and have your way now. Come and have your way, Lord God, in this fellowship. Keep on getting the portion of the Lord. Have your way, Lord. Let your kingdom come, Lord God. Let you will be done, Lord God, on earth as it is in heaven. On this place, Lord God. And the Kachaka and the Kassim, 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 the Holy Spirit, have your way in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Sherry, I don't know what you're doing. Here, 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 here. Sherry, I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to say, 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 Oh, we can sense your presence, Lord. We can sense your presence, Lord. Sheria la 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 moriondo, cura bashande. Sheria la la moriondo, jangi marake soba mane yutwal kiwai batki thali ni nenga sija pinaski. Oh, sheria la la moriondo. Oh, we welcome you, Lord. We welcome you, God. We welcome you in our midst, O Lord. Let your glory fall in this place as we worship you. I'm a good one, 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 I'm a good one,
Take us in, Lord God, this morning. Take us in, take us in, Lord God, into the holy of holies. Take us in, Lord God, by your blood, by your blood. Rayang iko tway, yim hun ko tway bendon tangi palaw ni chong me ablay. We tway rayang iko tway, yala me iko tway. Shadow go twang in the kitchaka, give a kentang, give a kentang dam go twang. To see your Lord, to see your glory, Lord, to see your beauty, God. Oh, Shady, da 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 into the holy of holies, Lord. Bring in money, get in God, got your me, got why. Bring in my good why, she's so you got poor, got your me. Bring in my, bring in your ear, me, got why. See you face to face, Lord God. To behold your beauty, Lord God. Oh, shall you not have more than your Holy of all is Lord God. 
take me in, Lord, by the blood of the Lamb. You take me in to the holy of holies. Take me in by the blood of the Lamb. Take me in to the holy of holies. Take the cold, cleanse my lips, here I am. Take me in, oh, take me in to the holy of holies. Take me in, take me in by the blood of the Lamb. Take me in to the holy of holies. Take the cold, cleanse my lips, here I am. So take me past the outer coast, into the holy place, past the brazen altar. Lord, I want to see your face. Pass me by the crowds of people, and the priests to sing your praise. I hunger and thirst for your righteousness And it's only found one place Take me in to the holy of holies Take me in, take me in by the blood of the Lamb Take me in, take me in to the holy of holies Take the cold, let here I am. Take me past. Take me past the outer coast. Into the holy place. Past the brazen altar. Lord, I want to see your face. Pass me by the crowds of people. And the priests to sing your praise. I hunger and thirst for your right. Jong me, Ling Batu Wan Jing Aingo, 
Rai ban ia kemat jeng me Ling ba upat belin tu yalam Ling do barwa ya ro Ngatrang bat ngasliang ia kahok jeng me Di tang hang ta ken ngat syem Lam yana syajaka Bakit tak selam yang ikut wai Lam yana lam yana kesam Ukur tak selam ro When your presence is fullness of joy And at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore We just want to be in your presence, Lord You should go up and down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down Oh, the shisha go down Oh, shari anana moriondo Father, where you are is where I want to be. Hidden in your coats is where I want to be. I want to be. I want to be. Abadon mami Hang tang aku abadon Hakai yin jong mi Hang tabangan yuk syong Ngai nyami Ngai Ya mitra Ya jing Dan jong mi Ngomi kot yang ga Tang sya mi ngan mare Jisu tang ya mi Donut lah ka kwa ni Oh 
Я мертва, я день, Данжон ми, Абадон мами, Амтана квабандон, О, Агай и Джон ми. ลับเป็นทําไมบอร์ปัญญีกุตวายกับจิงดอนกับเจ้าเมลับเป็นกระดูร์ปัญญีกุตวายกับจิงดอนกับเจ้าเมลับเป็นกระดูร์ปัญญ
the children of Israel to make a tabernacle for him. Yo i haka testament ka barim haba u blay u u hukum ya ki kon ki jong u bakin sna ya kata kai kata banakal through Moses he said to the children of Israel make me or build me a tabernacle so that I may dwell among you I may live among you ling ba u Moses u blay u la hukum ki kon Israel bakin thau ya kata ka jaka kintang khnang ba un yo ban song ne hapreng jong ki so we see here that god is looking for a place that he can dwell te ka e ka bang yo i hang ni ka long ba u blay u wat ya kata ka jaka ha ka ba u un yo ban song and we have seen as we are, as we are going forward to see the tabernacle and everything that is in the tabernacle it is all symbolism all symbolic all typical of what or, or am i say a shadow of what we are seeing now in reality what is happening but kat bangidang ye pet ye kata ka jaka kentang ki ai ki badon hapo jongka nginyo i baki long kita kum kata ka sirngiu ye ki ai ki ai ki ba ngila ban yo i menta ka por so god really wants to dwell among us ti ka ai ka bang yo i ka long ba u blay u da kwa da shisha ban shong hapeng jong ni amen amen the god of the universe uta u blay jong ka perthai baro ka wei the god who made everything here on earth Uta ublay ubatau yaki ek e baro hangni hapo ka kendo. The most powerful being in the universe. Uta ubakraw bortam hapo ka perthay baro ka way. Just imagine. Just imagine he wants to live. Superkat ukwa bansa hapreng jongi. Among us. Hapreng jongi. And in us. Hapo jongi. So that is the glory or the shikaina glory of God. Him being in us, that is the greatest thing that can ever happen to us. But kata kalong kata kaburam kajong ublay kabadon hapo jongi. But kadi kata ke ek ek bakraw kabalaban jah kajing im kajongi. And then when we see the the whole of the tabernacle, the centerpiece of the tabernacle, we can say is the ark of the covenant. But habang ipet ya kata kajaka kentang ngio i ba kata ka benta pedeng ka badan hangta hapo ka ni kajaka kentang kalong kata ka ka senduk jong ka jutang and there the shikaina glory of god is present the pillar of cloud the pillar of fire was always there but hangta kata ka burom ka jong ublay ka dan uta u rishot lo ba uta u rishot ding u dan hangta we shall see what the ark represent or what is a sim- symbolism of the ark but mentangin pet ke ai kata ka dak la ni kata ai kata ka jingmut jong ka ni ka ka sinduk jong ka so in exodus 25 verse 8 9 god commanded haka kitab exodus ke lendong ka ba arpusan ke dekhat ka ba prabat kandai hangtung ini ibo blay u hukum the children of israel to build a tabernacle half half them construct a sanctuary for me so that i may dwell among them according to all that i am going to show you as the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all its furniture so you shall construct it but tu kin thaw ya ka jaka kin thang ya nga khnang bangan yo song ne hapreng jong phi kat bakum kita baro ya ki bangala pin i hap hame ya kata ka dur ka tabernacle bat ki dur ki jingbo jong ka baro kum ta ken phin thaw ya ka so god commanded moses and the children of Israel to build the tabernacle ublay u hukum ya moses bat kum juru ya ki khon israel bakin thau ya ka tabernacle how i wish i could show you in the slides what the 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 the, the, the picture of a tabernacle but okay maybe next time so but, now we see in the tabernacle there are few distinct things that are that are present in the tabernacle Ngiyo i ba hapo jong ka ni ka tabernacle ki don kita ki jing bu ki bala bu hapo jong ka You can look to the in in the books of uh, Hebrew the letters of Hebrew chapter 9 verses 1 to 5 you can just write down for time sake we will not go through all of it but let me just tell you the 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 furnitures that are in the tabernacle Ngiyo i na ka sithi si kinong Hebrew ka lenong ka bakhandai ka dekhat ka baning kong hadu besan ki ai kita ki jingbo ki bangila ban yo i la ni bangin syam hapo jong ka ni ka tabernacle we see the outer sanctuary kata ka jaka ka ka phlau the lamp stand 
kidon kita ki jing penyang syarak the table kamie the sacred bread kita ki pupen i that is in the holy place kita ki don hapo ke jaka kentang behind the second veil there there of the tabernacle there is called the most holy place bat sadien kata ka jingka ka ba ar ka tabernacle la khot ya ka 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 jaka kentang tam a golden altar of incense kadon kata ka golden altar of incense kata ka siar ka pliang siar batang iubi and the ark of the covenant bat hang ta kadon ka sinduk jong ka jutang and inside the ark of the covenant bat hapo jong ka ni ka sinduk jong ka jutang there is the golden jar holding the manna udan utau kiuk siar hakaba hapo jong udan kata ka manna the aaron's rod which budded uta uding du aaron ubala phu and the tablets of the covenant bar kita ki mau link nyap jong ka jutang so we see there are three parts in the tabernacle the outer court the holy place and the holies of holies new e badan lai penta jong ka ni ka tabernacle kadan kata ka ka phlau nang ta kadan kata ka jaka kentang bar kadan ka jaka ka bakentang tam so it is in the holies of holies Uh, the ark of the covenant resides but they ha kata ka jaka ka bakintang tam ka don ka ni ka sinduk jong ka jutang so after god commanded moses to build the tabernacle they built the tabernacle and after they finished the tabernacle numbers chapter 7 verse 1 it says now on the day that moses had finished setting up the tabernacle he anointed it consecrated it with all its furnishing and the altar and all its utensils he anointed them and consecrated them also bat hadian ba ubleu la hukum yo moses bat ki kon israel bakin thau ye kata kata banakal bat nyu i ba hadian bla deban pinyang ye ka kat kum na ka kitab jing khen ka lenong ka bhinyo ka khot ka bening kong hang tu kong te ha kata ka sngi ha ka ba u moses ula pindep ban pinyang ya kata kata banakal bat ban pin sle ye ka bat ban pin kentang ye ka bat ya ki jing bu jong ka baro ya ka duan ru bat ya ki jing bu jong ka bat ba ula pin sle ye ki bat ula pin kentang ye ki so what happened after he consecrated the tabernacle dingin pet ke ek ba ja hadien bola de ban pen kentang ya ka tabernacle exodus chapter 40 verse 34 haka kitab exodus kelenong ke besau pho ke dukhat ke belai pho sa then the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of the lord filled the tabernacle anda kumta utau lo o ula tap lop ya ka ying jan ke jinge seng bar ka burong u try ka la pendap ya ka ta ka tabernacle and in verse 38 it says For throughout their journeys the cloud of the Lord was on the tabernacle by day and there was fire in the night fire in it by night in the sight of all the house of Israel But haka de khot ka belai pu prang yo i ba haka ta ka jingya lenti ka jongki utau lo o jong try ula don halor ka ta ka tabernacle min singi bar ka ding ka don halor jong ka min mit hakmat ka ying Israel baro ha ki jingle jongki baro The tabernacle in the wilderness was a pattern of things in in the heavens. Kata kata tabernacle ke bang yo i ha por riklau kalong kata kadur ke bapin i ya kata ke e ke bedon habneng. And was full of typology or types or symbolism or you know teachings that are in the shadow for us which are very relevant for us even today. Bat kita kilong kum kita kidang kibala ban hikai yangi kibala long kibala ban hikai ya ke ai ke bang ngi ngi em ha ke ni ke por ke ba minta there are so many teachings or so many symbols in the tabernacle that we cannot cover here in this in this time there are so so many things that what the tabernacle really shows to us Kidon si bon kita ki ek ek beran hapo ka tabanakal hakaba ngila ban yo ka jing hikai bar kidon don si bon bha bar nginum la ban petlut ek menta but the the symbolism or the, the shadow of what the tabanakal is it's really significant for us today Henry kata ka durla ni kata ka sirngiu jong ka tabanakal kalong ka bar ket jingmut bha haki por ki bangi ngi em menta The tabanakal was a place where You know it is pitched to cover the ark of the covenant a golden box that was set in the holies of holies where God's presence was Kanika ka ka tabanakal kalong kata la pinyang ya ka hakaba kala tap ya kata ka sinduk ka jutang hakaba la sud ya ka da kata ka ksiar bat hangta ka don kata ka jingdon ka jong blay So one of the symbol or one of the type of the tabanakal is is a place 
to house the presence of the Lord. But ko wey na ka dak jong ka ni ka taban ka ka long ba ka day ka ta ka jaka ha ka ba ka burom ka jong ublay kan shong. And as we have said before, the Ark of the Covenant is the centerpiece of the the tabernacle, where the presence, the tangible presence of the Lord was there. But kung mga ong na kabesdang ba kani ka sinduk ka jutang ka long ka taka bintap deng ka balabu hang ta hapo ka tabanekel ha ka ba ka taka jingdan ka jong ublay ka jingdan ka jong ublay ka bangila ban snowtu ka don hang ta. So the tabernacle is made. Or the Ark of the Covenant, it has the upper part where it's called the Mercy Seat, and then it is a box. It's just a box made with acacia wood, then you know overlaid with gold. But you eat hangi hapo kada kani ka sinduk jong ka jutang ka don kita kilay benta hakabala la sud yaka da kita ka ksiar balas na yaka da kita ka dieng acacia, and then. We see in the mercy seat there are two cherubim facing each other, and then between the cherubim we see the Shekinah glory of the Lord resting on on the mercy seat. But hang ta kidan kita kishirop kibalakir ya kataka mercy seat. Kibalakir ya ka, but hang ta kadan kita kaburam kajong blay. Amen. Hallelujah. And in Exodus 25 verse 22 it says. There I will meet you. The Lord God Almighty says to Moses, "There I will meet you." But they hang ta ba ublay ulo ang show Moses ba un yakendo ba u ba un yeshem ba u. So we see now in the holies of holies the, the tabernacle. I mean the the ark of the covenant is there. And there's there's a mercy seat and there's a box a hollow box, and then in that mercy seat there are two cherubim. Facing each other, and in between the, the the cherubim, the Shekinah glory of God always rests there. But in you, he hangta ka jaka kintang kadon kata ka sinduk ka jutang. But hangta ha ka sinduk ka jutang kadon kata ka jingtap isnei ha ka ba kikirup kikir yaka. But they hangta ha ka ba ka ka jingdon ka jong blay ka don. So we will concentrate more on the Ark of the Covenant. But in kamya pet yaka ni ka sinduk jong ka jutang. Wherever the Ark goes, it brings. Blessing or cursing or curses to those whom they come in contact with or in close proximity to the Ark of the Covenant. Shanu shanu ba kani ka sinduk ka jutang ka don kalaban wanra ya ka jing kerku lani kalaban wanra ya ka jing tim. It is an indicator of God's presence during the exodus of the children of Israel from Egypt till they entered into the Promised Land. It was an indicator. It shows all the people there that God is among the Israelites. Kalong kum kata kadak jing pini hakaba and pini ba nadu baki kun Israel kimi na Egypt hadu baki na poisha kata kajaka kajongki ba kapini ba ublay udon ringkat baki. It was so sacred, so holy that the children of Israel they cherish it so much. Kalong kata kabak kentang ba hakaba kini kikun Israel kita kencor but nyokor yaka. It was an object. As I said, of blessings or of cursing, of of curses. Kalong kum kata kadak hakabakalak banwanra yaka jingkerku lani ya ka jingtim. In First Samuel chapter six verses nineteen and twenty, we will not read, but there are there are some people in a place called Beth Shemesh when they disrespectfully they look upon the ark. Or inside, what is inside the ark? They open the ark and they look upon it, and seventy of them fell that day. They died, and there's there's a big plague around that place. But you e kat kum ka kita beningkong u Samuel kalau nong bahenrio kalau kau bakar kendai bat arpo you e bahak kita kat jaka hak bagi kau kat bed shemesh hang ta kita ki brio kim shem la nyokor kim shem la kencor ikan ikan senduk kejutang kila plie ban pet ya ke ek beran hang ta hapo bat hari yang kata you e kumbah nyopongut ki brio nata kila sha kalau kalau one sek ek dia kalau one kak klam hak kita kat jaka. So now as we said the art of the covenant. The secrets or the significance of the Ark of the Covenant. What is inside this Ark that attracted the glory of the Lord? That attracted blessing. That attracted curses. That attracted, you know, even the 
the glory of the most high god to dwell in that place ki ei kita ki badan hapo jong kata ka sinduk kejutang hakaba kala ban ban khot lani ya kata ka jingdon ke jong ublei lani ban wanra ya kata ka jingker khu lani ya kata ka jingtim so my title is the title of the message is the ark its content and significant ah ka kerteng jong kani ka khubor kalong kata ka sinduk kita ki jingdon hapo jong ka bat kita ki which attracted the glory the shikina glory of god to rest upon that ark ka ba pinlong ya kata ka burom ka jong blei bakan shong hangta hapo ka sinduk ka jutang as i studied the tabernacle the ark and all the furniture there are so many so so many symbolism so many shadows so many types that uh, it would take i do not know how how long the bible study for it but we will see just the the main main points what the lord has impressed in my heart to share with you all habang apet ye kini kata banakal bar kita ki jingdon jing em ki badan hapo jongka ngiu i baki don sibun kita ki ek ek ki dak lani kita ki sirngiu hakaba larangin pet bnya ye ki nginum kan kan kham simpor henre hakani ke sngi ngin su pet tang kita ki badan kam bar kita ki ek ki ba ublei ubo hapo ka dak nut ke jonga the the ark really was not that big just three and a half feet long two and a half feet wide and two and a half feet deep it is not so long It means not so big. Kani ka ka sindu ka jutang kam da dei than ka ba he ka ta ka ta. It is just let me just uh, for those who can you know uh, carpenters who are here maybe let them work it out. Uh, the three and a half feet long, two and a half feet wide, and two and a half feet deep. Kalinter jongka ar pro shiteng bar ka jing. bar ka pingkyang jongka shipro shiteng bar ka jingjrong jongka ru shipro shiteng so it is 3 and a half feet then 2 and a half feet then the depth of it 2 and a half feet just that bar kata ka long ka 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 jinglong jongka ar pro shiteng ka linter dan ta shipro shiteng kata ka pingkyang bar ka jingjrong jongka ka long shipro shiteng but you see the act of the covenant though it is just a box overladen with with gold and then there are articles inside which we are looking now what are the articles inside though it is just even if you see with our natural eyes it's just a decorative box to say but then that box houses the most powerful the most powerful force in the universe the glory the shikina glory of god rested in that piece of furniture walada kata ka sinduk ka jutang ka long tang ka sinduk ha ka bala sut ya ka da kata ka ksiar henrei kani ka sinduk ka long kata ka jaka ha ka ba ka burom ka jong blei ka wan ban shong the things that were put in the ark were the golden pot that had manna number 1 aaron's rod that budded number 2 and the tables of the covenant But new ik ta ki jingdon ki beran hapo jong ka ni ka sinduk kilong utau kiuk siaru bedon ni ka ka mana nang tau tau ding du aron u bela pu ba ki ta ki mauling ka nyap jong ka jutang I believe that these three articles inside the ark that attracted the shikina glory of God to reside on the ark Nga ngets kem ba dei ki ni ki jingdon ki beran hapo jong ka ni ka sinduk ki ta la ni ki ki penlong ya ka ta ka burom ka jong blei ba kan long halor jong ka Although all of the tabernacle itself is the dwelling place of God but the centerpiece as i said of the tabernacle the ark of the covenant is where the glory was seen to reside ho ai wala la pendap ya kata kata banakal da ka jingdon ka jong blei hi barok henrei hang ni ka ka ni ka sindu ka jutang ka belong kata ka bintap pedeng dai hang ta ha ka ba ka burom ka jong blei ka shong so let us look in details now what are these three item uh, what do they symbolize or what do they mean for us today tongin pet ke ai ka baki ni ki lightly ta ki jing bo ki beran hapo jong ka ni ka sinduk ki thau shangi menta golden pot that had mana number 1 utau kiuk siar u badan ka mana kata kalong ka beningkong mana first appeared when the children of israel complained against god moses and aaron they you see the 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 children of israel 
Though they are led with a mighty hand, God has saved them from Egypt with a mighty hand. They have seen the miracles of God by their own fleshy eyes. They have seen it with their own eyes. They have seen it. But still, but still, they were, they, you know, in, in times of adversity or times of difficult times, they will always murmur, always complain to God. Nyo iyo ni mana, yakin ka mana, hakapor ka ba, yakin ki kun Israel, la yalam yaki, hi da kata kakti ka ba krabor ka ba dunbor ka jong ublay, bat kila yo iyo kita ki kamba, ki blaja, da ki kmat ki jong ki, hinray ki don ki por pa de, hakita ki por jong ka jing e, ki knyum persha, sya ublay. Exodus 16 verse 3, it says like this, If only the Lord had killed us back in Egypt, they mourn. There we sat around pots filled with meat and ate all the bread we wanted. But now you have brought us into the wilderness to starve us all to death. That is what they are complaining about. Complaining to Moses, Aaron, and eventually to God. Haka kitab Exodus kalinong kabakatan riyo kudukwat kabalai. Hang tu ki ong ba. Bat ki kun Israel kila ong haki. A ba bandangi ngila yap da kakti utrai hakari Egypt min ba ngila ya shong hajan ki kiu do min ba ngila ya bam ya ukpu haka banda kedang nabap hila walam no yengi haka ni kari klaw ban peniap yang ni upat ba baro da ke jing tengan Exodus chapter 16 again verse 13 it says like this 13, 14, 15 we will, we will read these verses so it came about at evening that the quails came up and covered the camp. And in the morning, there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew evaporated, behold, on the surface of the wilderness, there was a fine flake-like thing, fine as the frost on the ground. When the son of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, It is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. Kalajati habala janmit baki yar klaw kila ya wan kiu bala ya tablup ya kejaka syong dara jongki. But min step ke umjir kila don baro saudong kata kejaka syong dara. Ti min ba kata ke umjir ke bala don kala rengat no hakmi la don halor kata ke riklaw eire e ke bapelun ki berit kum utha halor ke kendo. Ti habaki kun Israel kila yo iya ka kila yo ong parulok hi ke mana naba kim tip ke e ke long. Ti ong Moses ulo ong haki uni uta ukpu ya upa utruai ula ai hapi ba pin bam. So after they complain, God did not kill all of them or I believe God is sudden in his heart but because it is his people that he has brought them out of Egypt and because of Moses and Aaron's always interceding on behalf of the children of Israel, he provided them food. Hoi wat lada kini ki kun Israel ki knyum ublay um hoi kata ka pins ngosi ka donul ka jong u hinrei um shimla peniap yaki hinrei ngiu i pa dea ba u Moses ba u Aaron ki yang ban ya saad na ka binta jong ki bat kum ta ha kata ka jing knyum ka jong ki ublay u ay ya kata ka bam na ka binta jong ki. The golden pot that had mana was a memorial of God sustaining of his people. Utau kiuk siar ubedani kata ke mana ulang kum kata ke dak ban pen i ba ublay udan ringkat bat ki bat upendap ya ki. The mana will always reminds the children of Israel of how God is was able to provide for them. Kenia ka ke mana kalau kum kata ke dak kaban penken mau ya ki kun Israel ba ublay u u u u besar ya ki bat u u ay ke bam nak ke benta jong ki. It is the, the food of the angels that God has given the children of Israel to feast on them. The meaning of mana, it is, uh, what is it? They are, they are asking, what is it? So that is the name. Mana, that is the meaning of the, man, of, of the word mana. Because they don't know what is it. They, they have not seen it before in the, in the entire life. They have not seen it. And now they have seen it and they have tasted it. 
namar ba kim pat sim la yo i yaka hinre minta ki yo i ba ki la yo mat ru yaka and it was like it uh, let me it was it, in in appearance it was a, a small and round like like grayish white frost upon the ground in color it was white and it tastes like honey but kata ka ka jinglong jong kata ka mana ka long ka ba pulun ka ba red kum utha ka khendo but anda ba ba mi ka ka thiang kum ka ngap i wish we would want to taste mana how how it would feel in our in our mouths to taste mana ni su kwa ban ma ya ka ban sngo ban ban yo ya kata ka jingmat kum nu ka long they were fed with mana for 40 years they were fed with mana kumba sao phos nem la basa ya ki da ka ni ka mana god provided for their physical needs u blay u pen dap ya kata ka jing don kam ka jong ki amen amen hallelujah hallelujah even after all the murmuring and the grumblings god overlook god overlooked the grumblings and the murmurings the complaints god overlooked because of his tremendous love that he has for the children of israel he has let them out from egypt he will not let them die in the wilderness so he provide provided for them even food that is served to the angels he gave to the children of israel because of one thing only because of his love his great and everlasting love ublay um thawi ta ki jing khnyum ki jong ki ki ta ki jing kran persha ki jong ki henre na mark ta ka jing eat ka ba khraw ka jong u ya ki open dap man la ka singi baru a ya ki ka ta ka bam so let us see in our context now what does mana represent tung in pet menta ka ei ka ni ka ka mana ka thaw ya ka ei mana here represents let us uh, look from the scripture Let us look from the scripture. Gospel of John chapter 6 verse 32. Gospel of John according to John chapter 6 verse 32. It says like this. Jesus said, "I tell you the truth, Moses didn't give you bread from heaven. My father did. And now he offers you the true bread from heaven." So now in this verse we see that it was not really moses that gave we know that it is not moses that gave the manna which is called the bread of life but it was god who gave them the bread of life so here jesus was explaining to them and he said to them in verse 33 the true bread of god is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world and they were asking in chapter in in verse 34 sir they said give us that bread every day Jesus replied I am the bread of life. So manna the bread of heaven is Jesus Christ the bread of life. Amen. Amen. You ihang ni kat kum ka gospel ka jong Johannes ka lenong ka Henry ka de khat ka ba life ko ar du life husan hang tu ko ong ba anda kum ta u Jesus la ong haki shisha shisha ng ong hapi amde u Moses u bala ai hapi ya u ta u kpu na bneng Henry u kpa jonga u ai hapi ya u ta u kpu u ba shisha na bneng ho ai umde u Moses ni tep ya kata ba umde u Moses Henry de u blay u ba ai shaki ya ya u ni u ni u kpu u ba wan na bneng ha ka de khat ka ba life lai hang tu ong na mar u kpu u long u blay u long u ta u ba wan hear na bneng but u ba ai ka jing em ha ka per na markata kila yo ong ha u go try to ai ha yangi hala ka singi ya u ni u kpu te u jisu le thu haki nga nga long u ta u kpu jong ka jing im jar u bawan hanga onam thangan ba jar u banget hanga onam slyang lanu lanu ru te hangning yo iba u jisu u long ma u kata ka mana ka mana ko bawan na bneng in the same uh, gospel same, gospel same chapter verse 49 50 and 51 let us see Jesus further said Your ancestor ate manna in the wilderness but they all died Anyone who eats the bread from heaven however will never die 51 I am the living bread that came down from heaven Anyone who eats this bread will live forever and this bread which I offer which I will offer so the world may live is my flesh 
Hakad a cot of a sapo can die, had to send to way, hung to you eat. Kikpa jong pee, kill a bam yakataka mana, hack a reclaw, but kill a yap no. Uni ulong uta ukpu, but one herna bling, but unu nuru un yok bam no u, but un um yap no ken. Nalong uta ukpu, uba pinim. Ubra one hair na bneng, lada unu unuru un yo bam na uni ukpu, un yo im bam jikun, but uta ukpu de, ya uba ngan ai, ulong ka do jonga, ya ka ba nga ngan ai, na ka binta ka jing im jong ka pertei. In verses, uh, verse 53, it says further, so Jesus said again, he said again, so he was, you know, reiterating his point, I tell you the truth, when Jesus uttered his word, Verily, verily, or I tell you the truth, it means what? What does it mean? What does it mean? It means what he says. It, it means he's telling the truth. He is telling the truth. Jesus never lies. He tells the truth. I tell you the truth. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you cannot have eternal life within you. Jusung yu ihe kene kado kwat kaba san pulai u Jesus hang tu lai tu wang shisha shisha ng ang happy haba wang shisha shisha kamo Ukraine yaka taka ek ek kaba long kajing shisha but hang niu wang ba lam na pi bam yaka do jong kuan ubrio but ba pi di yaka snam jong u pim don kajing im halade. This is really a mystery that Jesus is explaining to them how he connects manna, which is bread from heaven, given to the children of Israel, and then now when he was in you know, on the earth, he was speaking about the bread that came, that comes from heaven, which he himself says that he is the bread of life. But new ihang niya kataka jing mayan kumno ba u Jesus ulapinya day pinya snow yak kataka mana kaba one na bneng ha ha kaba kikon Israel kibam but u pinya snow but yaladi uang ba ma u ma u ulong uta ukpu ha uba one na bneng. Jesus says that if we do not eat his flesh and we do not drink his blood, we cannot have eternal life But in us. During the times of Jesus when, when he went around, you know, preaching about the kingdom of God, there were many, many who came to Jesus. There were many disciples at that time, even uh, uh, above the 12, there are also many disciples who came, you know, always listening to the teachings of Jesus. And when he taught this truth, but how about hikaya kani ka jing shisha? If you don't eat my flesh and you don't drink my blood, you will not have life, eternal life in you. Then all of the disciples were really, really disturbed. They did not understand this passage that Jesus was telling them. And all of them, they were offended when Jesus said these words. But hakata ka poor hakaba u Jesu lo ong ba lamda phi ba me ka do but di ek snam ka jong ka jong u ka bon ki kim shim la snow thu ya ka but ki la snow mong ya ka ta ka jing hi kai ka jong u When they left Jesus turned to the 12 he said he asked them a question are you also leaving me But bon ki ki la let no but u Jesu la kli ek ta ki khat arut ki sanran ki jong u wang ha to phi ru phen e no ya nga What did the disciple reply they said, no, Jesus, you have the words of eternal life. We will not leave you. I believe if you were there at that time, you would ask the disciple, do you understand what he's saying? I believe they would say, no, we do not understand. Because it's so difficult eating the flesh and drinking the blood of a man. It's so difficult to understand. It's a teaching for us also. There are many teachings from the word of God. That maybe right now we don't understand them. 
cannot fathom that teachings. Just because we don't understand, it doesn't mean that we backslide from the Lord Jesus, we go astray from Him, you know, and we say, that teaching is too hard, it's not for me, I'm going back to the world. We cannot say like that. I believe the disciples, though they do not fully understand, but they waited patiently. Because in the Last Supper, when Jesus was, you know, giving them the bread and the, and the, and the wine as a, uh, as a token of His blood, then maybe that time they, their eyes were opened, they understood what Jesus really meant. When we partake of the Lord's table, it is really a mystery. It's really something spiritual that is going on that right now maybe most of us, we do not fully understand the implication or the significant or the spiritual significant of that act that we do. But just know this, my brethren, just know this, that as we partake of the Lord's table, we are tasting manna. That is the bread, the bread of life, the bread of heaven that we are tasting. Hallelujah. 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 So the, the golden pot of mana, that, the golden pot that had mana, though it has many, I, I told you, many, many, many symbolism, but we will just look at this. It is the manna that comes from heaven, that is the bread of heaven, that is the bread of life, that is Jesus in our lives. Amen. Number two item, or the things. Number two, Aaron's rod that budded. This. Uh, you can find this story in Numbers chapter 16. Aaron about Aaron's rod, how how it budded or blossomed. In Numbers chapter 16, you can read all of that. We don't have time to go into it. Let us go into uh, a small portion. There was an uprising or there was a rebellion when Korah, Dathan and Abiram, these also, they are Levites. They are from the tribe of Levi. They incited the crowd and they rebelled against Moses and Aaron and their leadership. They rebel against Moses, Aaron, and the leadership that God has placed over the children of Israel. In verse 3, Korah says to Moses, You have gone too far. The whole community of Israel has been set apart by the Lord and He is with all of us. What right do you have to act as though you are greater than the rest of the Lord's people? They had an issue with the, the temple worship. They had an issue with the temple worship. But they did not stop just, you know, complaining or, you know, grumble or, you know, rebelling against Moses and Aaron, but they incited the whole crowd of the children of Israel to go against Moses and Aaron and the leadership. 
Kim Shimla sang ye tang ban shuk nyum persha yo Moses u Aaron bagi taki nong yalam hinrei kita kita penkiru yek taki pat lang yo pat ba ban yele persha yeki. So God has to intervene again. But u blay u haban wan hapeng. He said to Moses. U ang shong Moses. Take Aaron's rod. Wang Shim yo u ding du jong Aaron. And let all the other twelve tribes from the children of Israel let them bring their own own rods. But I bagi taki kat ar jad jong jong ka jong ka Israel kini wan ra laki jong ki jong ki ding du ki jong ki. From all the leaders from the tribe of the the the, the twelve tribes of Israel let them bring their own separate rods. Nakita ki ki kat ar jad jong ki Israel kini wan ra ya laki jong ki jong ki ding du jong ki. And then write down the names of the leader of those tribes. But bagin to ya ka kerteng jong kita ki nong yalam jong kita ki ki jad. So all the twelve uh, leaders' name was written on the on the inscribed on their own own rod. But kum tala tho ya ka kerteng halaki jong ki jong ki ding do. And God commanded Moses to keep all those rods of the twelve tribes of Israel, the leaders of the twelve tribes of Israel, in the holies of holies. But ublay ulah hukum yo Moses, ba un shimik ta ki ding do, ba ban bu hak ta ka jaka ka ba kintang tam. Near where the ark of covenant is. Hajan kata ka sinduk jong ka jutang. And in verse, uh, in chapter number 17, verse 5, the Lord told Moses, buds will sprout on the staff belonging to the man I choose. Then will I, then will finally put, then I will finally put an end to the people's murmuring and complaining against you. So, this was, this was the 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 litmus test, or this was the test that from all the 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 rods that has been placed, the one that will sprout or that will bud, that one is the one that the the owner of that staff or the name on which the the it's inscribed on the rod, that name or that person will be the one that God will choose. Bat ngiu i hang ni kadan ka longkum kata ka jing tin ju ha ka ba u blay u ang ba na kita ki ding du baro tang u wei un pu bat u ta u try jong u ta u ding du u long ma u ya u ta u ba u blay u lejit. In verse eight it says, they left the rods before the Lord, and in the morning, Aaron's rod or staff representing the tribe of Levi has sprouted, budded. Blossom and produce ripe almonds. Baring yu iyang tuga dekwar ka bapra hadian ba kita kiding do baro labu hakmat jong utrai ting yu iba hak ka balasai u Moses u lalet hapok ka tabanakel ka jing pla bar hakmi u ding do u Aaron u bana ka benta ka ying u lebi u lapu bar u lami shilut bar u lapu sentiu u laseru da kiso kelam. Aaron's rod didn't just sprout, but it brought forth flowers and fruit. A clear demonstration of the power of the one who gives life. But new e hang ni ba unyo ding do jong aran am tang ba ushupo henry umi shilut upo sentiu but uda say so aru. And in verse ten, it says the word of God says like this: And the Lord said to Moses, Place Aaron's staff permanently before the ark of the covenant to serve as a warning to rebels. This should put an end. To their complaints against me and prevent any further deaths. But you hear the court of the ship how hang to wang ti utrai ula ang how Moses to walam biang yau tau ding do jong Aaron hakmat kajing pla ban ri yau ya kaban long kedak persha ya kini kikun bayale persha knang ya kaban pindu nakmat jonga ya kijing knyum jongki bakin om yap shu. In Hebrews chapter nine verse four, it also further says that. It tells us that Aaron's rod remained in the ark of the covenant, remained in the ark of the covenant as a testimony of God's choice of Aaron and Moses to lead His people. But you e ha kanika kashiti shiki Hebrew kalenong kabakandai hado kadokhat kabes kadokhat kabesa ba uni u ding do jong ding do jong Aaron ula dan hangta ban pen e ba ulong u uban yalam ya kita kibrio. Aaron's rod was also a reminder that God does not put up with rebellion against Himself or His chosen representative on earth. 
Unia udin do jang aran ru upin i ba ublay ums ngau bha ya kita ki ba yang banyalek persya bat kita ki ba u ula thong lani u ula bo. God's plan on this earth are far beyond any single human being. He desires that we work together in one accord to obey him and reflect his glory. Kata ka jing tmu ka jong ublay ka long ba ukwa ba yang ngi iwey pa iwey ngin ya yad lang ha ka jing long ka wey mat bang yin pin pao no ya kata ka burom ka jong u. God is very serious about the leadership he has ordained and established and he would do anything to protect and vindicate them of their position of leadership that he has placed them. Ublay uda shim kya bha ya kata ka kerdan ha ka ba utung ya kita ki briyo ki jong u but undale ay ay ya kita ki bele persya ya u. When I read this passage, this passage and when you know, when I stu- when I study this part of the Aaron's bud, Aaron's rod that budden, I was thinking, uh, why did God, you know, wants to keep this in the in the ark of the covenant, and when they do it, it will be for generation after generation after generation to remind them all that God is very serious about, you know, about about the leaders that He has placed on their. About, upon his people new e haba haba nga pulia shapang new dingdo jong aran ke ek banga sngothu ba ke ek ba ble open pau singa kalong ba uble ha ha lor kita ki nong yalam ki ba ma u u labo u u da thong ya ki ba u da kwa e ki ha ka ba kita ki ki brew kin kin bot ne ba kin 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 ya drink card ba ki so the placing of the 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 in the, the rod of aran inside the tabernacle was always a reminder to all to the people to the children of Israel and even to us that God is the one who chooses leaders and when God chooses leaders we are but to follow them willfully joyfully you know we will follow them not murmuring not grumbling not have anything against them because it is not beneficial for us Kajingbo yau niu dingdo jong aran hangta po ka sendok kalong man pen iba ublay haba uthong ya nu ya nu ban long kita ki nong yalam ka kalong ba ukwa yang ngi wei pi wei bangin ngin syakri la ni ngin kongu yaki da kata ka ka mon ka 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 mon ka jongi da kata ka jingkmen ka jongi ha halor kata ka ei ka ba ublay u latong when we talk about the glory of god when we talk about the shikaina glory of god please Brethren, remember also that these three things that are put inside the Ark of the Covenant, they are a, a serve as a memorial or, you know, always to remind the children of Israel about what has happened, which God has, 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 has laid a foundation or God has stressed the teaching that he wants to teach the children of Israel from these three things. Nakini ki jingbo ki bangyo i ha ki bladon hapo jong kata ka sendok ka jutang ki de ki ei ki ei ki ba ublay ukwa ban hikai shengi So my brothers my brother and sister let us be very very careful about the the, the leaders that God has placed over our life ki hinmen ki para ki jonga nga kwa bang in the long kita ki ba fikir bha ha ka bedei bat kita ki noyalam ki ba ublay u labo halor jongi if we rebel against them larangi le persha yaki it has a direct connection with the glory of god in our life karang kata ka jinge dei ka ba jan bha ba kata ka burom ka jong ublay ha ka jing im ka jongi sometimes we may ask i don't find i don't see the presence of god in my life i don't see the 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 glory of god in my life You have to check yourself. Maybe you have something in your heart that you, you know, you have against the leadership that God has placed over you. Lessing ilaban kli ka jing im ka jong ing lessing ilaban ong ba ngim shim la mat ya ka ka burom ka jong ublay ngim shim la don ya ka ka jing don ka jong ublay ka ei ka bang ka ban ong shipi ka long ba ngi ha ban yit ya le di lessing yo don ka ei ka ei ha po ka jing im ka jong ing ka bang ngi long persha ya ki ta ki nong ya lam ki jong ing. Maybe you you feel that I'm I'm joking about this issue. It's not a joking matter. God crushes rebellion when they rebel against the the the, the leadership that God has placed over them. He crushes them. He kills them. He will not spare even their families, even the you know their their 
their pets or whatever they they, kept, they will he will terminate all of them annihilate all of them why because god is so serious about leadership about whom god has placed in the leadership kaniga ka e ka banga kran kamlong ka banga shukran ka namar belai ublai urashim khia bha ya ka ta ka jingthung ka jong u ya ki ta ki nong yalam barang yo i hang ni ba laradan manu manu bale persha ublai ha ublai um skoutanat ya ka bat ngi yo i ba laban kin yap ru ya ki am tang ya ki hinre wat ya ka yeng ka sem ka jong ki so we must be very careful how we behave and deal with our leadership i would suggest the best way is in hebrew chapter 13 verse 17 it says like this obey your spiritual leaders and do what they say their work is to watch over your souls and they are accountable to god give them reason to do this with joy and not with sorrow that would certainly not be for your benefit that would certainly not be for your benefit ik kadon kamingi hakabangin da fikir bha hakata ka jinge dei ka jongi ba kita ki nong yalam ki jongi ngio i ka ne kat kum na ka sithi je ki hebru ka lenong ba khat lai ka de khot ka ba khat nyo hang tu kong tu kong u ye kita ki nong yalam jong phi ba tu pen hapo ye la di haki na mar kita ki sarai na ka benta ki min siem jong phi kum ki ban sa ai ka jing khen ba kin yo le ye ka ne da ka jing men ba om da ka jing sngau si na mar ka ne ka ba min to ye phi so in short the arans but Aaron's rod that burden talks about God's leadership. Uni udingdo jong Aaron ubala po Ukraine shaphang kata ka kinong yalam kiba ublay ulabo. And how we are to behave with them. But kumno bangi pade ngin ya day but ki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the third item or the third things that are in the inside the the ark of the covenant. kebalai pada kebadan hangta hapo jong kan ka sindu ka jutang the tablet or the tables of the covenant or the tablets of the covenant ki mau link nyap jong ka jutang we all know that the ten commandments god gave to moses for all the children of israel to obey nitep ba yakini ki phautali ki hukum ublai ula ai shaki khon israel ling ba u moses ba kin ko ngo yaka we will not uh, we i have written here all the 10 commandments but uh, for time we will not read all the 10 commandments i believe that you know all the 10 commandments by heart amen ngets kem ba nitep yakini ki phautali ki hukum ngenum pule yaki i know all of you know by heart what are the 10 commandments that god commanded Ngada ngets kemba iwe pe we nangi ngitep ikita ki shpautali ki hukum ki ba ublai u hukum yangi Amen Amen because God says that he has written the law in our hearts so that's why we know by heart Amen Namar ublai u ongba ula de ban tho ikita po ki ki link nyap jong ka donut ka jongi bar nga ngets kemba ngi ngitep yaki So we know that God has given the 10 commandment to the children of Israel Ngite ba ublai ula ai ki ngi shpautali ki hukum shaki khon Israel and there are more than 10 commandments which the children of Israel had to obey there are 613 commandments contained in the old testament where the children of Israel had to adhere or had to you know had to obey all of them na lor ki ngi shpautali ki hukum ngi o i pade ha ka ne ka testament ka barim ki dan sa kumba hinrus pa lai phautali ki ta ki hukum ha ka ba ki ki khon ki khon israel ki ki dan kam ban bot ya ki so in the 10 commandments four commandments the first four commandments are the one relating to god ha ka ne ka ka shpautali ki hukum ka ba ka ka hukum ka ban ning kong haru ka ba sao ka long ka ba dan ka jinge dei but ublai and then the the the, the last six are the one relating to man but kini ki hinriu tuli pere ki bidang sa kadang ka jinge dei ha pereng ki briu so you can get all the list of the 10 commandments in exodus chapter 20 verses 1 to 7 pin yo ekini ki ki hukum kar kum na ka kitab exodus ka nong ka ar pho ka khat ka ning kong ha du khat nyo and deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 6 to 21 but kum joru na ka kitab deuteronomy ka nong ka san ka khat ka hinriu ha du ar pho wei Just for us to know that the Ten Commandments are the one that God Himself has written by His finger. Ah, kanang bangin tip kalong ba kini kis pautli ki hukum la thoh hi da kakti ka jong ublay. And what does this? What does the law 
or what are these ten commandments? What are the main purpose of the ten commandments? There are three, roughly there are three main purposes. To show people their need of a savior. To function as a restraint in society. To direct the believer in his behavior. But when you lam, you get a key banget, how can I get a jing long a jong u? So when I said the Ten Commandments, then the 613, then we see that all the children of Israel could never, could never keep all the commandments that God has given. Nyo iba kini kikun Israel, kim to lap ban bat, ya baro kita ki hukum ki ba ublay ula ay shaki. Even for us, we have only 10 commandments, not the 613, but for the 10 commandments also, most of us, we cannot keep the 10 commandments. And because the 10 commandments that Jesus interpreted, how he interpreted the 10 commandments, it is very, very hard for us to keep. The command number six, it says, you shall not murder. But Jesus said in first, first the uh, epistle to John, chapter 3, verse 15, he says that if you hate your brother, you are a murderer. So how many of us has fallen into the trap of hating our brothers and our sisters? We have always, somewhere, somehow we have hated a person in this life. And when we hate somebody, we are equivalent to a murderer. So we have broken the sixth commandment. Thou shalt not murder. We have murdered many people in our life. Bonangi, nila jidan kapoha kabangi isi yenu yenu, but habangi isi yenu yenu kata kalong kumju kum utau nong penyak brio, but dah kabangi isi yaki nila long kita kinong penyak brio, but nila nila penken ya kata kahukum kabahin brio. What about commandment number seven? Kumno syapang kata kahukum kabahin yo. You shall not commit adultery. Men om klim. Yes, we have not committed adultery, but. But the standard of Jesus in, 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 in Matthew, Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verse 28, it says that if you lust after a woman or a man in your heart, you have already committed adultery. So, how many times have we lust? How many times have we lust? And how many times have we committed adultery in the eyes of the Lord? The commandment that God has placed is too hard. Impossible for us to keep. Hoi niyo ihang niya kani ka hukum ko ba hinyo ko ba ang menam klim niyo ikat kung kata ka jing batay ka jing ujisu pero ang ba larang nila braya nuyo nuyo hapo kata ka donor ka jongi kamut nila nila klim kat nungut na preng jongi nila klim but kat nungut na preng jongi ngim sim la la ban bat ya kani ka hukum. So God put the Ten Commandments in the Ark of the Covenant to remind us to remind us. Generation after generation after generation to remind us that we cannot be righteous by keeping the law. For we cannot keep the law. But then Jesus Christ came. He was the one, the only one who kept all the law. He fulfilled all the law. We are not supposed to keep the law anymore because Jesus, he fulfilled all the commandments that required, that God required for a man to obey. And Jesus sum all, he summed it all, all the commandment that God has commanded his son in all in 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 these two commandment but ujisu la shim kulum lut ya baro kita ki hukum ki ba ki ba ki bela don but u ongkum ni ya ki in gospel according to matthew 
chapter 22, verse 37, 38, and 39, and 40. You know, I, I believe you know them by heart, but let me just say in brief, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. That is number one, the commandment, number one, the first and foremost commandment. And number, number second, or number two, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So these are the two commandments that God has summed up for us to obey. Kini kilong kita ki artri ki hukum haki ba uble ula shim kulum lang ya baro kita ki hukum but ka kabanin kong kalong ba ngin eat yo try uba uble jungi da ka dono jungi baro da ka mensiem jungi baro ba da ka jingmo jungi baro but ka hukum ka ba ar kalong ba ngin eat yo para marjan jungi kumbangi eat ya ladi Hallelujah Hallelujah As I said we are always as we have sung even about the Shekinah glory of God. We want the Shekinah glory of God to be present in our life. These three things that God has kept inside the Ark of the Covenant will also help us prepare ourselves for the glory of God to reside in our life. So there are many things to talk about the, the covenant or the, 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 the tablets of the, uh, the covenant, the law, but there is no more time. In conclusion, I would like to say that when we fully understand that Jesus Christ is our bread of life and that God is the only one who sustains us in everything that we do here on earth, and being totally dependent on God and being totally submitted to the leadership that God has placed over our life and growing gracefully and full of joy, not murmuring and grumbling at our leaders and finally being controlled by God's law in our hearts and spirit and abiding by the word of God, being led constantly by the Holy Spirit of God, then and only then we will be able to experience the Shekinah glory of God in our life, in our life every day that we live. Hoat kiran si buon ki ek ek bangilaban kren na kinie Henry hakabapin hakabapinway na laban omba hadian bangis ngutu si sha bau tau Jesus ulong mau tau kpu jong kajingem bad baday tang ublay ubala ban ban sustain ban ay bore kita kajingem kajongi yaki ek ek baro ki bangingi laban ne akapertha ban ngida shania telilut ha ublay ban ngida ay telilut yala diye hakita kinong yalam ki ba ublay ubu halor jongi klemda knyum klemda kren persha yaki Henry ngi le ek ek ban ngi sun hakita ka Kajing san kajungi, dah kajing kemen, bah dah kajing IA kajung ublay, bah layar lamingi dah umin siem bahu jung ublay, dah hang takin, bangin yau ban mat, ya kata kaburam kajung ublay, ha kajing em kajungi, kabar manla kesingi. Amen, amen. When the Holy Spirit came and dwell among the people in Acts chapter two, we see the Holy Spirit came and dwell among the people. Like tongues of fire, the Holy Spirit came upon how many people? 120 people. Out of the whole world, during that time, 120 people experienced the Shekinah glory of God, the Holy Spirit of God resting in their life. What a wonderful, wonderful experience those 120 people experience bar ngio i kat kum na ka ki kam ki apostle ngio i ba kum no ba u men sem ba khoj u wan ban shong halor ki tu ki brio kum ki ta ki thlit ding ha ho ai ki don shi bon ki brio hakata hakata perthai hakata ka por henrei halor jong ki ni ki shis ba ar phungut u men sem ba khoj u wan ban shong halor jong ki kum ki ta ki ki thlit ding bar ka long ka ta ka jing mat ka ba kmen bar ka ba ka ba ka ba krau ka ta ka ta hakata jing em ka jong ki and if you follow their history at least the 12 disciples, the apostles of, of, of God, including Paul, which later on got to see the Lord Jesus, their life was exemplary. Their life was, was full of fire. They 
turn the world upside down by the gospel of Jesus because of the Shekinah glory, the presence of the Holy Spirit that dwells in them. We see a marvelous change that happened in their life and it continued till they bred the last. But new e habang ipet ya ka history ka jonki new e ba kini ki khat ar ki senran ka bakan thop yo apostle paul harin bola de ban priang yu tra new e ba ka ta ka jing don ka jing dap ka jo men sim ko ka long halo jonki haru ba ki la ban pen ka la ya ki snong ki tha ba new e ba ka ta ka bor ka jo ble ka long halo ka hapo ka jing em ka jonki ba ka ta ka ding ka jo ble ka yai ing hapo jonki ba hadu ka ta hadu ka ta ka ka khlamat ka ba khat du jong ka jing em ka jonki So our prayer is Lord we want to be more like more than the 120 people that experience you your shekinah glory your indwelling holy spirit we want to be more Lord we want to be more But ka jing duai ka jingi ka long ba try ngi kwa ban ban long kampanat ya kita ki shis pa ar phongut ha kampanat ya kata ka ka jing don ka jong mi ha ka jing em ka jong ngi I feel that we God has called us to be the arcs of God here on earth. We are the arcs of God having the three things in our lives in our in in, in our hearts and then experiencing always the Shekinah glory of God going forward and proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ here on earth. Ngaso kumba mangi iwe be iwe ngi long kita ki sendok ki jong ble hakaba ki don kita ki lightly ki jing bu ki ba ble ula bu hapo jongi but day nangi hakaba kan mi kata ka buram ka jong ble kat bangi dang ya lap ya ka gospel ka jong mu Amen Hallelujah Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah I feel that it is our responsibility our responsibility and our commitment dedication devotion to god that will bring the shekinah glory of god in our lives every day ngaso kumba ka dikata ka jingkir khli ka jongi baka dikata ka jing it lot ka jongi haka bangin wan ra ya kata ka buram ka jong blei man na ka singi haka jing em ka jongi you have jesus the bread of life in your life pidon you jesu belong ta ku pu jong ka jing em haka jing em ka jong phi we are in the right leadership that god has placed us Ngidon hakata ka jingelam ka ba biang hakaba ublei ula bu yingi and we have the commandments of god written in our in our hearts but ngidon ni kita ki hukum ki jong ublei bla tho ha po ki linkinya ki donu ki jongi now we are ready for the shikaina glory of god in our lives but minta ngila long la kloi na ka benta ka 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 burom ka jong ublei ha ka jing em amen 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 hallelujah 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 as we close let us all rise up let us all rise up and yang no na ki jaka ki jongi we'll pray to god Ngin dwai sho blei Lord I need your Shekinah glory in my life You know try you don't come kata ka buram ka jong mi ha ka jing em ka jong ngi If you feel that you have you have uh, you have something in your heart which is not right you just ask God to forgive you Let up his ngo thu ba pidan ha po ka jing em ka jong phi ya ka nu ka nu ka bam ka bam dai ha ka mat jong blei phila ban pan ma If you have anything against the leadership you please ask forgiveness from God Let up pidan persha ya ka ya ki nong yalam Pila ban pan ma no blay And for those people here I mean who who have not accepted Jesus Christ who have not the bread of heaven the bread of life in your life you can accept Jesus Christ in your heart right now Ba na ka benta ki tu ki bam par simla priang yo Jesu ki bam simla don yo ta ku jong ka jing em haka haka jing em ka jong phi pila ban priang yo u haka ni ka por And if you wandered from the word of God which is the law of God written in our hearts let us dedicate our life in 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 devoting ourselves to reading the word of god listening to the word of god meditating on it day and night larang ila ya jingai no ka ktien ka jong blei hen re ha kani ka sngi tung in it la di ha ka bang in puling in pusan ya ka ktien ka jong blei met la bat sngi then we are ready for the glory the shekinah glory of god in our life but dei hang ta bang in long la kloi na ka benta ka 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 burom ka jong blei ha ka jing em ka jong ngi Let us pray. Tung in dwai. Dear heavenly Father. Kok pa ba ie jong ye? We come to you. Ni wan ak mat jong me. As you have spoken to us. Kumba me la kren shingi. These three things that you have put 
on the ark of the covenant kini ki lightly ki jingbu ki bal mela bua ka sindu ka juthang as a constant reminder a constant reminder for all of us kum kata ka jingpen kan mau yang i way pi way for generation after generation after generation lord na ka pateng sha ka way pat ka pateng ku try lord try we come to you ni wan ahmad jomi jesus jesus you are Melong. Our bread of life. Ukpu ka jingem jongi. Jesus. Jesus. You are. Melong. Everything in our lives. Baro ka jingem ka jongi. Jesus. Jesus. We have you in our life. Ni doni me ka jingem ka jongi. We accept you in our life. Ni la pdiangi me ka jingem ka jongi. Lord Jesus. Try Jesus. Be the Lord and Savior of our life. Long me u ta unong penem ka jingem ka jongi. God. Try. We respect. Ni burom. The leadership. That you have placed over our life. Ki ba ma me me la bu ha lor jongi. Lord, try. If we have spoken against them in any way. La rangi la kran persha e ki ha lor lo ka ben. We have something in our hearts against them. La ningi don ka e ke ko ba persha e ki. Forgive us, Lord. Ma be ngi try. Forgive us today. Ma be ngi ka ni ka si. We want to be right with you. Ngi kwa ban long ki ba ha ma jongi. We want to acknowledge your leadership in our life. Ngi kwa ban ban pini thu e ka ta ka ka ki nong yalam ki ba me me la bu ka jingem ka jongi. And Lord, but try. Let your word. I have ka tien chong me. Your commandment. Ki hukum chong me. Written down in our hearts. Ki ba me la tho ha ki don ki jongi. Let it not depart from us. Wa num ai ba ki let no ni. Lord. Try. Let us meditate on your word. I bang in pus on akak. Day and night, day and night, day and night. Me la bat singi, me la bat singi. Lord. Try. We come to you. Ni wan shemi. As a sanctuary. Kum kata kata kak kentang. As a tabernacle. Kum kata kata tabernacle. A dwelling place for you. Kata kata kak shong kak shong me. Let your shikina glory. I bang kata kak burong kak shong me. Power of your Holy Spirit. Kata kak bor kak shong men si mukut shong me. Your Holy Spirit. Fill our lives. Fill our lives. Now. Now. In your name, Lord Jesus. Lord, as we receive a fresh, your Holy Spirit in our lives. Lord, help us. Be the ark that carries your. Your shikina glory. I bring in long kita ki ki sendok ki bara ya ka buram ka jong. That will carry. Kiban ra ya love ya ka jing eat ka chomi carry your law kiban ra ya ka jing eat ka chomi and carry your leadership bad ban ra ya ka taka here on earth hang ni ha ka perthai lord jesus try jesus we thank you ni ai ngu it was wonderful day na ka benta ka ni ka singi that you said oh god If today we hear your voice, we will not, we will not harden our hearts. But we are the one who are listening to you, Lord. You have spoken to us today, Lord. From now on, we will experience your shikina glory in our lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory, Lord. As we go from this place, that the love of, of our Father. I will sing it back. The grace of our Savior Jesus Christ. And the sweet anointing and power of the Holy Spirit rests among each one of us. But kata ka jing pensle ka jong men siem ba khoi ba ka bor ka jong men siem ba khoi ka long ha lor chong wei wei. And all those who are all the saints around the world. But ha lor ki riu khoi baro ki ban kaleng ka pertai. Now and forevermore. Men ta shi ki bam chi khoi. Amen. 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 God bless you all.